I'm Dr. Frank Bremer. I'm chairman of the history department here at Millersville University. And I welcome the chance to talk a little bit about the department. Uh, this is a department that offers a bachelor's degree in history, uh, a bachelor of science in education geared towards teaching social studies in high school. We also have a master's degree program. Uh, the department has 12 full-time faculty members and we have particular strengths in American history and European history, although we also have specialists who teach courses in Latin American history and in African history. And we are always able to offer one or two courses in Asian history uh, using a very well-qualified adjunct who's been with us for quite a while. Our faculty are recognized both regionally and nationally as being an exceptional faculty for a school of this size because of the fact that everyone is what we call a scholar teacher. Every single full-time member of our faculty is a published author, almost all of them with numerous publications to their credit. Well, what does this mean? It means that these are people who are not simply regurgitating the lessons they learned when they took courses in graduate school five, ten, even twenty years, in my case over thirty years ago. They're people who are on the frontiers of knowledge, who are exploring the subjects that they teach. Dr. Frankham, for instance, is a worldwide scholar, world-renowned scholar on the Vietnam War. And so he's not simply taking other people's ideas for granted, he's doing new research on that subject. He throws his ideas out to be tested in a community of scholars. And this keeps him up to date in his field. And the same thing can be said about every other member of the department. And so when you take a history class at Millersville, you're learning what the common understanding of the field is at that particular time, but you're also getting some insights from the particular professor which you're not going to be able to get elsewhere. If a student majors in history, either in the BA program or the BSc, they're going to take a number of core courses. First of all, an introduction to the craft of history, then a survey of American history, a survey of Europe and the world from 1500 to the present. And at the end of their experience, they will have to take a senior seminar in which they find a topic that is of particular interest to them, uh, and they focus on it for the course of a semester doing original research, organization, and writing. For quite a few years, all of the students who go through the education certification program through the department uh, have passed their state examinations and they have all gained jobs in secondary education, mostly in this area. The BA students, um, some of them go on to graduate school. We've had students going to Oxford University, Penn State, University of Chicago, uh, Ohio State University, and a number of other uh, excellent programs throughout the country. But most of our BA majors uh, simply use their liberal arts degree to go into the job market. And this is one of the things that um, is important to think about in terms of whether or not you come to Millersville or anywhere else to study history. A good history program is not just going to teach you about the past and specifically how to learn about the past. A good history program is also going to teach you skills which are applicable across a broad variety of endeavors. Almost all of our history courses will require our students to research and write. And along the line, we work carefully to teach students how to identify topics of significance, how to identify the proper types of sources to answer the questions that they're looking at, how to evaluate that information, which is often contradictory, and then how to organize and present, both orally and in writing, their own conclusions. And those skills of analysis, evaluation, and expression are things that are going to be of great value, uh, whatever career you choose 